How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about the Roth conversion ladder and what the heck is it? Why do you need it? Now Roth conversion ladder is basically a very interesting thing for someone looking to retire early. So in the FIRE community, financial independent retire early community, people are interested in amassing a lot of net worth and then retire, officially retire, which means that you do not earn any money. And somehow before the retirement age, they want to access the capital inside their 401k or IRA. So sometimes people call this a Roth backdoor. What this basically allows you to do is convert money in your retirement accounts, which is pre-tax, and then put this in your Roth IRA. Wait five years and then you can withdraw it without paying the 10% penalty. Now, a lot of times people would call this Roth conversion ladder penalty free tax free. Now this tax free almost seems like you can just somehow sneak money away from your pre tax money and then somehow take it out without paying any taxes all the way through. This is not true. When they say penalty free is well, it's penalty free after you wait five years. When they say tax free, it's tax free when you take money out of it, but not when you actually put it in. When you do this Roth conversion, it basically relies on the fact that you are not working. You're actually retired. You're not doing any work at all. And then you have amassed all this wealth and you're just trying to figure out the best way to spend it. So what someone that is retiring early is trying to do is access that 401k or IRA capital without paying a penalty. So what you're really doing is trying to withdraw this 401k or IRA money at a minimal tax rate. So when you do this conversion, you're actually still paying an income tax hit on this. What is interesting here is that if you are really not working at all, you might be able to withdraw so little that the standard deduction of $12,200, or if you're married a bit more, this may actually completely cover your conversion amount, therefore you're paying $0 in taxes. So I've created this example 401k Roth and Roth gains and how much cash you would have for a typical engineer, I would say. At the age of 34, you might have saved a million dollars, maybe if you worked a lot. Try to ignore how much this person actually has and at what age because it's gonna be different for everybody. It might be that you're 50 years old and you finally reach a million dollars in your 401k, but just take this as a concept where I'm just trying to describe how this Roth conversion ladder really works. So at the age of 34, let's say you almost have a million dollars in your 401k. You got $40,000 in your Roth contributions, let's say, and. I'm just gonna say no gains. You're really probably gonna have some kind of gains in there. And then you have $160,000 of cash. Uh, this is just the beginning. At the age of 35, you finally reach $1 million. And at age 35, you decided, oh, I am going to retire. You stop working completely at this age. If your burn rate, let's say it's $40,000, you're gonna go through this $200,000 in about five years. Now this is the perfect amount and this is on purpose because this works out perfectly for the Roth conversion ladder. I wanna illustrate what happens if you don't have enough cash, but you have plenty of money in your 401k, but you want to access this cash in your 401k before your retirement age and you don't want to pay any penalties. But you see, if you try to take $40,000 out of your 401k, you have to pay taxes on it. But I'm just going to assume you made a little bit more gains in your 401k so it just works out perfectly. Maybe you withdrew like $45,000, $48,000 and you pay taxes on this. And then after taxes, you still have $40,000 exactly and you put that in your Roth. So really in your 401k, you gained $50,000, let's say, due to market gains. That's why it's staying the same. It's 1 million, 1 million, 1 million. So you made just enough to put $40,000 of active after-tax money in your Roth. And then you go on and do it for the next year, the next year, the next year, the next year. And then you can see your cash over here. It goes from 200,000, 160, because you need $40,000 to live on. And then it goes to 120, 80, 40, and then finally on your fifth year, you have zero cash. Now, this is not an ideal case because you probably want some cash to do something. Sometimes you have emergencies or something, but I just want to illustrate that how you can quickly drain your cash if you don't work at all and you're taking $40,000 out every single year. Your Roth gains over here, I put this separately because you cannot really withdraw this until you are 59 and a half. So during this five year conversion ladder process, you can see your Roth is increasing by $40,000 every single year. And then right on the fifth year, you take out 
$40,000 to live on because you don't have any cash anymore. And then that year, you're still taking $50,000 out of your 401k, putting into your Roth, you're paying the taxes here. But at the same time that you're putting in this $40,000, you're also taking out that $40,000 that you contributed over here five years ago. That's why you can take it out without this 10% penalty. And then the year after that, you do the same thing. You're still also sort of draining your 401k, but not really because of market gains. It stays at $1 million. And then that same year, you're taking $40,000 out. So through this laddering process, you can keep on living, even though you have zero cash, you can still use $40,000 every single year at the age of 41, at the age of 42. And then this goes on and on until the age of 55, where you're also taking $40,000 out, except at this point, you can let off a little bit on withdrawing from your 401k. Hopefully it grows a little bit more each year. And then you have a bunch of money in your Roth account. And hopefully you want to keep on withdrawing $40,000 away from this Roth account. And then you're going to keep on draining it, draining it all the way up to your age 59 and a half, where you probably end up with uh, almost nothing left you're only taking out whatever you contributed. And then the gains over here, you left untouched. And then when you reach 59 and a half, you can go, oh, I can start taking this money out. And you know, you can tap into your 401k as well if you want to. If you retire really, really early, I mean really retire, you just throw up your hands and then go, I'm not gonna work anymore because I have, I don't know, a million, $2 million saved up and you don't have to work. It might get a little bit boring because most of the time it's just very boring if you're not applying yourself. If you're just going vacationing for the rest of your life, I feel like this is a very risky thing because then you have to rely on this 4% rule. You're not making any money at all and you are absolutely absolutely relying on only the money that you have left in your retirement accounts. And you know, you're crossing your fingers that this 4% rule is going to pan out properly, even though there's all this unprecedented events going on, the ever increasing balance sheet of the United States to be really, really secure. Instead, what you should look to do as an early retirement person is to get a lot of passive income sources. So even if you're not working, you're not actually drawing down your retirement funds. So this is a situation I personally am in right now because I can definitely kind of not work and then my YouTube income will probably dry up. So this is kind of like semi retirement because I still have to, you know, produce a little bit of videos in order to get, you know, keep the gravy train going. In this sense, this is a lot more secure than just completely relying on the money that you already make and just deciding you're never going to make any more money again. For anybody that has any kind of income coming in like dividends or anything, any amount that you're trying to convert from your retirement account to a Roth account, it's going to be tacked on top of whatever that you already earn. So you're going to be taxed at your marginal tax rate. If you already earn $12,000, let's say any amount on top of this, it's going to be at that marginal tax rate of 10%. So suffice to say, if you're trying to convert, let's say $50,000, you're going to pay a progressively higher and higher tax bracket. So you are still going to have to pay income taxes on this amount that you convert. Now, what do they mean by this Roth conversion ladder, right? Because it's a ladder. It's kind of like CD ladder because you convert it every single year. And this Roth conversion ladder is a five year thing. So you start one year, one year later, you convert some more one year, year later, you convert some more. So by the time five year comes, you're going to be able to withdraw this money without that penalty. And then one year later after that, you're going to be able to withdraw another sum without penalty again, because you had this ladder going on. And then you can just keep this up until you reach 59 and a half. Now this actually only makes sense for people with a really large retirement account. It needs to be so large that you can do this conversion all throughout your early retirement. And by the time you hit retirement age, you still have a sizable chunk in your retirement account. And then with this amount, you can still retire for the rest of your life. Now there are finer points over here because with a Roth IRA, when you take a tax hit, when you convert from a retirement account into the Roth, you have to pay income taxes during that year. After taxes, this is going to be a slightly smaller amount. With Within your Roth IRA account, it can grow untaxed. So any gains that you make within this investment account, when you take it out of that Roth IRA account, the portion that you gained, let's say it went from 10,000 to $20,000, right? So you gain another $10,000. This 
portion of $10,000 is tax free. Now, how does this factor in into the Roth conversion ladder? If you put in $10,000 five years ago, you can only withdraw $10,000. The gains you cannot withdraw just yet until your retirement age. So with all this said, I have to emphasize that for a lot of people, this Roth conversion ladder is it just sounds like a unicorn thing. It doesn't apply to a lot of people unless you're someone that has a huge retirement account pre-tax and you are willing to just completely stop working and not be productive at all, which I feel like goes against what I personally believe in order to live a fulfilling life. I believe you do not live a fulfilling life if you somehow convert to a situation where you're just sitting on the beach all the time. But I feel like for a lot of people who applies themselves during retirement, right? So it could be very well that you thought you're going to not make any money. Once you retire, if you apply yourself in the right way, somehow, somehow money is going to come in anyway because you're doing something that you love maybe you like woodworking a lot and then you make all kinds of beautiful stuff and you know somehow people are paying you for it anyway and then all of a sudden all this money comes in anyway and this is the ideal situation not everyone can apply themselves the same way of course so that's what i think about the roth conversion ladder i mean it certainly doesn't apply to me personally i would feel very uncomfortable if i just don't earn any money and just kind of start drawing down the retirement account because you know i still have plenty of years to live if i just remain idle this is a very risky thing to do because there's all kinds of inflation going on that's not under your control the best bet to hedge against inflation is to earn current day dollars thanks for watching this video everybody don't forget to give me a like comment down below let me know if you're gonna take advantage of this roth conversion ladder thing and as always don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon thanks for watching